Okay, so this is a, an agenda of what we're going to be talking about today. So first, we'll just give an overview of the IB computer science course uh, courses. We'll talk about how you can access the beta materials and talk about a teacher testing group opportunity to give us feedback. And then we'll have a Q&A. And I'll definitely pause kind of in between these to answer any questions that people have. So first, we'll just give an overview of the IB courses. So first of all, you know, what is IB? So uh, the IB diploma program is a course of study designed for students uh, 16 to 19, so um, older high school students. And it is presented as um, kind of six academic areas. So you have the, the six groups all enclosing around the, the central core, which is the theory of knowledge. And students are going to study uh, from each of these groups. What we're talking about right now is group four. Um, so that is where computer science falls, is, is uh, a part of the experimental sciences. And we are talking about um, students can take computer science standard level or higher level. And so those are two different courses. Um, and I'll just be kind of talking about the difference between those. So the standard level course, uh, in this course, students study four major topics in computer science. And those four are system fundamentals, computer organization, networks, and then computational thinking, problem solving, and programming is the, the fourth. And then uh, along with those four kind of core topics, students have to select, or uh, really teachers have to select um, one optional kind of topic of study. Um, so the ones available are databases, modeling and simulation, web science, and the one that we uh, are de designing our course around uh, is the object-oriented programming option. So that is option D. And throughout the coursework, students are going to create one piece of internally assessed work called the Internal Assessment IA. Um, and basically they have to create something uh, that includes a computational solution. So it's a very broad uh, kind of project prompt. The standard level course is 150 hours. So um, it is a, intended as a one year course. And this is just an overview of the assessments that students will complete. So there are uh, two external assessments. And so those are in two different parts. Um, Paper one is an examination paper, and it consists of um, basically two of the, the core uh, pieces. So that was like the networks, um, computer organization, programming. Um, and so they'll answer a few short answers and a few structured questions. Then paper two that they take is another examination paper. And this is going to uh, go over um, uh, the option that is studied, um, so the object-oriented programming. And then in addition, they do have an internal assessment and basically they need to develop a computational solution and then um, submit that, a cover page, uh, sort of, and any supporting documentation. So it is a very open-ended prompt. Um, you know, creating a computational solution is, is a pretty broad, broad prompt, but uh, that gives students a lot of freedom to choose something that's interesting to them. Okay, so then in comparison, uh, the higher level course is 240 hours. So it is a two year study and it includes everything in the standard level course with additional elements. So first of all, in the kind of core or compulsory uh, topics, they include three different topics. Um, so this is on top of the original four. And those topics are abstract data structures, resource management, and control. So three additional topics. And then for the option that was selected, so uh, remember we chose object-oriented programming, there's going to be um, kind of additional and higher level rigor of content for for the option that you select. So there are additional object-oriented programming 
uh, objectives that students need to complete if they're doing the higher level. And then they also have for the assessment, um, an additional um, assessment that is uh, called paper three, um, and it is based on a pre seaton case study. So some topic will be selected and students will need to research it um, and then uh, you know, put together a, a paper, an exam paper. And so you can see that the higher level has paper one, it has paper two, but then it also has paper three. And that is the uh, case study that they'll write about. So it could be something like artificial intelligence. Um, and um, that's kind of the, the additional piece. So to kind of back up a little bit, um, here's just kind of a uh, kind of overview of the course options. So standard level or SL, um, you'll see it referred to. The course length is one year. The topics are um, system fundamentals, computer organization, networks, computational thinking, problem solving and programming, and then object oriented programming. That's the, the option that we chose. And then for the assessments, we have two uh, papers and one internal assessment. Then for the higher level, it's a two-year course. And so it's everything that the standard level includes and abstract data structures, resource management, control, um, and that advanced object-oriented programming, so additional object-oriented programming. And then the assessments, everything that the standard level um, includes, so the two papers and the internal assessment, but then there is that additional paper three. I'm going to stop here and see if we have any questions. Yeah, Evelyn, we have uh, one question uh, from Paula. Do students take higher level? So students who take the higher level um, IB course, do they do the standard level the first year um, is her question. Yeah, so I would say that is kind of up to the teacher, but generally I would say yes. So they would take the standard level the first year. Um, oh, I guess the question is, would they take the standard level assessment the first year that they take it? That I'm not sure we can ask her for clarification there. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess uh, just the, the question um, I have is, um, so the coursework would be would be the same as the standard level for year one, um, because higher level includes everything that standard level has. Um, I'm not actually sure if you can take the standard level assessment and then the next year take the, the higher level assessment. Um, okay, I'm, I'm getting from some of our experienced teachers that you cannot do that. So you would have to either pick standard level or higher level. Great. Okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and continue and talk about uh, the courses that we built on Code HS. So these courses are one to two years and they're designed for high school students, older high school students. So um, this is something that I would say you take in your junior, senior year. Um, and just remember that if you're doing high, higher level, you would need to take it in your junior year um, to complete the first year so that your senior year, if you had, um, you could take the rest of the higher level course. So uh, it's intended for 11th and 12th grade students who are aspiring to complete the IB diploma program. So this is this would fulfill some of their requirements for the IB diploma program. So breaking out the content, um, we got we basically have kind of four big categories for the content that um, our courses will include. So the first one is design thinking. And this is a really nice um, kind of non-technical open-ended uh, area and it's a couple of modules. So in design thinking, uh, students are going to um, be given kind of prompts where they 
go out and look for problems that can be solved using um, computation. So in this, they're going to interview uh, users, they're going to create prototypes, test prototypes, revise prototypes, and um, this is all going to be non-technical. So they're not going to actually go and code it yet, though it could be something that they use for their internal assessment later on. Um, but this kind of has them go through like an exploration of understanding user needs and understanding how to conduct tests and, uh, you know, revise uh, pieces using um, kind of design thinking in the design cycle. The second huge um, portion piece, which I would say this is probably um, the majority of the course is programming in Java. So um, they are going to be taking um, Java in this throughout both of these courses. And this is where they're going to cover that section four, which is the uh, you know, computational think algorithmic thinking and programming piece. This is also where they're going to see um, the option covered. So the, the option D, which is the object oriented program programming option will be satisfied in these like programming in Java units. <clears throat> and then we have digital information networking, networking and computer organization. And so these modules, uh, students are going to kind of understand principles of computing kind of in a zoomed out approach. So digital information, how do computers actually, you know, see, transform, store data, or so something like a picture. What does that actually look like in terms of, you know, bits? Um, this is also where we talk about networking and, and the last piece is computer organization. So talking about hardware and software, um, how those interact with each other. And then the final piece is IB assessment preparation. So this will be um, an area where students can basically be prepared for uh, they talk about, you know, preparing for the internal assessment, the IA, and then this is also where they're going to practice, you know, doing those, the, sitting for the exam and uh, demonstrating their learning. So when they do take the official IB exam, uh, they are prepared and ready for it. All right. Um, before we move on how to access materials, I did want to pause and see if there are any other questions. Evelyn, we had one question just, question just around uh, whether this was going to be in Python or Java. Um, I think there was a little bit of confusion there. Uh, yes, so this is going to be in Java. Um, the reason for that being um, it su supports the object-oriented programming piece. So um, option D, if you do the object-oriented programming, you do need to use Java. Um, it could be possible that you could use Python, but that that actually is um, something that we we have updated. Great. And then one other question. Um, so is this allowed officially as an elective under the IB diploma program? So uh, this actually falls under group four, which is the uh, experimental sciences group. Um, let's see. All right, I think that's it. So we will, oops, go ahead and continue. So now we'll talk about how we can access the materials for IB Computer Science. So right now the course is available in a beta, which means that it is not yet ready for students, but it's ready for teachers to review and give feedback for, uh, to, and we'll talk about testing groups in a second. So this is the course link that you will use to enroll in the course. Uh, as long as you are logged into CodeHS, your teacher account, this will enroll you in the course and you'll be able to see the beta from the My Courses tab. And right now, this course um, includes uh, almost everything needed for the standard level course. There are a few lessons that we are still um, kind of polishing up and those will be added later. So just know that you enroll in this course, um, it will be kind of updated as we uh, work through the course development process. So 
um, you will see as time goes on, this will change. And you can take a look at the standard level and higher level course overviews from these links. So this is where you can take a look at course resources, sample materials, demos, um, et cetera. Great. It, let's see, looks like we don't have any questions, so we can continue on and talk about the teacher testing group. So first of all, what is the teacher testing group? Uh, this is a way that you know, we want to engage our teachers, especially teachers who have been teaching IB, teachers who are new. We wanna uh, give you all a chance to explore the course and give us feedback. So there's a couple of ways you can get involved. Um, there's different levels. So we understand that you, know, you have different uh, time, to, time commitments and that you can uh, kind of donate to us to test this course. And so there are a few different ways to get involved. The first is, you know, we can give you special access to lead feedback on individual items. And so you can send those items directly to the curriculum team instead of submitting to uh, our main kind of help line. And then the other is uh, we would set up uh, group calls with a code HS curriculum developer and other teacher testers and just kind of have a conversation of now that you've had a chance to look at the course, what do you think? What would you change? So to get involved, this is a link to uh, a survey. And if you are interested, you can go ahead and fill this out and then we'll be in touch and you can uh, indicate your level of involvement in this survey. So if you want to be very involved, go to meet with us and um, have those kind of uh, focus groups, you definitely can. But if you can only commit to you know, leaving feedback on individual items, that also works for us. All right, that is it. So from here on out, we can just take some questions if people have any. And if you don't have any questions, thank you so much for attending. And I hope you have a good rest of your day.